Hello and welcome to this special presentation on NDTV 24-7. Now, as part of our election yatra that we undertake for each election, we have now decided to concentrate on a very, very important aspect, to know the mood of the young voter, the women, because, you know, if you speak to the political stakeholders, you will have a very templated response, a BJP, a Congress, an Aam Aadmi Party, uh, issues that they have templated for you, but what is on the mind of the first-time voter, the women, the young adults? What is their vision, what is their dream, and what is their expectation of their political bosses? So as part of that initiative, we are bringing to you the young voters of Vadodara in this special panchayat, special chopal. Let me quickly introduce them one by one. Your good name, ma'am. Gunjan Soni. You are from Vadodara? Yes, I am from Vadodara itself. Okay, okay. What about you? Yeah, my name is Bhumi Shah. Mm -hmm. I am from Maharashtra. Okay. Yeah. And uh, for how long have you been in Baroda? I am being from five years. For five years you've been here. What about you? My name is Divya Jadav. I am from Baroda. Born and raised? Huh. Fantastic. What about you? My name is Mandeep Singh. I am from Chandigarh, Punjab. So that means you are not a voter here? No. Okay. I am doing first time voting here. Oh, so you are a voter. Yes. You will be voting here for the first time. How long has it been in Vadodara? In, uh, eight, eight years. Eight years you've been in Baroda. Yes. Huh? So you'll be a first-time voter. Interesting to hear your views. What about you? Uh, my name is Arpit Saxena mm -hmm. and I belong to the Vadodara only. And you're going to vote for the first time or the second uh, time? No, the second time. The second time. Okay. What about you? Myself, Nilay Solanki from Baroda only. Hmm. Uh, myself, Deepak Sone, I'm from Baroda. Okay. My name is Patel Tarun. I'm from Maisagar. Myself, myself, Asu Patil, I am from Maishagar. Okay. And what about you? I am Mandeep Singh, I am from Vadodara itself. Uh, born and raised? Uh, no, I was born in Husharpur, Punjab, but okay. since 92, my family and I am living in Vadodara. And when were you born? In 91. So the, you are, uh, I mean, for, for one year you were in Punjab, for the rest of your... Huh? For six months. For six months. The rest of your life you have been here. So uh, you are yes. a Gujarati. Pure. Let's go with that. Huh? Yes. Okay, fine. Ma'am, I'm going to come to you and ask you uh, not about your political preference, but uh, what according to you is uh, that big poll issue that is on your mind as far as your city is concerned? Women's safety. because Women's safety? Yes. In the whole India, we have a perception that Gujarat... Yeah, I, I was meaning to ask you because there is this perception when we did our UP Yatra, a lot of women said that we like to go and work in... Gujarat and Maharashtra because we feel safer there and you are saying that safety is an issue here also from last two to three years I feel so because there are the some uh, rape incidents they have been reported in the Vadodara itself mm. or in the villages itself mm. so I believe safety is the first and foremost issue women's safety because if a woman is safe a country is safe mm. so women's safety is the biggest issue for me and it's interesting that you say that this is a recent issue you never felt unsafe earlier? No, no, no. I have. I did my schooling, my college. At that time, everything was safe. But I guess, uh, you know, the people are like being the, from same state. Like in MP, there are rape cases in Delhi. But now in Gujarat, I also feel the cases have been increasing. Some are reported, some are unreported. Some cases are such that a girl is not able to con tell to his parents or her parents. So that are also the cases over here which have been reported in last two years. So women's safety is the issue for me. Okay, this is very, very significant. What about you? Yeah, I am agree with the ma'am that women's safety is uh, a big issue at Gujarat because we are not at all feeling safe over here because we are facing, daily we are facing the same problems about uh, the yes, uh, health uh, issues and uh, one means we can just say that uh, women are not safe in Gujarat. What about you? Same to ma'am. Ah. Okay, women safety. That according to you is the big issue? Ah. Yes. I mean, if you could elaborate, why do you feel, I mean, this is a perception or do you, do you feel this way personally? See, there are two different things. One is that you're being told that uh, Gujarat is becoming unsafe for women. The other is that you have had some personal experience because of which you have come to this conclusion. What has happened with you? Do you feel that this is more of a perception? You are feeling this way, that it is unsafe? Mm, no, sir. Okay. Uh, I, I want to ask you this question. Do you feel that this is... Uh, uh, a feeling that women have in Baroda specifically, young women, or uh, 
there is something that they are personally experiencing, changing over the past few months because of which they have arrived at this conclusion. Mm -hmm. One is a general conversation. The other is for you to feel that way because you've experienced it. Oh, so it's not a perception, first of all, because we have seen such incidents. There, the, in, the one incident I remember was three to four months back that was in the Navlaki ground. Mm -hmm. A uh, girl was literally like bolte na gaya bhi ho gai thi and I live in the same area. So for two nights I was not able to sleep. I was just thinking where is the girl because I have a daughter. I know how hard it, it is for a mother or it is for my mother to feel that my daughter is missing from the home. So she was missing from the ground. It was a security guard was sitting over there. It was seven o'clock in the night. So seven o'clock. If a woman is not safe at 7 o'clock, you imagine the situation at 2 o'clock. So this is not a feeling. This is a recent incident. So I don't remember other incidents. I have not personally felt anything. But see, these things are like, sabke saath to ho bhi nahi sakti. And ho bhi nahi chahiye. But once you see such thing, you have a feeling that I should not go out by this time because uh, in that particular area, right? And that is a city area. Now I think this is a very important point that you're saying because this, this assumption all over the country that Gujarat and Maharashtra is safer for women. If women here also uh, nurse this feeling that uh, they are not feeling safe, then this is a huge letdown. Definitely it is because uh, like... Uh, I have been to Delhi, I have been to UP, I have been to MP. So, situation there is worst. I know because I have seen the people literally are staring at me. I mean, why do you want to stare at me? There are walls, there are floor. Why do you want to stare at women? But that is not the case in the Gujarat, definitely. But there are such incidents. But definitely Gujarat is uh, better than those states. But it is not that better what people think. Okay, okay. So, small mercies that... Uh it's not as bad as other states, but you would want it better, especially because you felt safer earlier and don't feel safe as safe now. Okay, that's an important point. What about you? As a, as a first time voter in Gujarat, what are your issues? Education for all. Education for all? Is that not already happening? No, no, it's not. Because nowadays education is becoming more extremely necessary for all. Because if there is no education, there is no, uh, there is no employment. And, uh, and if the the, uh, the more the more and more people are uneducated, then there is no future of the youngsters who are coming. Unemployment is an issue for you. How many people think unemployment is a is a is an issue for youngsters? You feel the same way. What about you? You also feel the same way. I mean, you know, again, uh, I would say this is a myth buster. Uh, Gujarat considered safer for women. The lady right here says that not any more, not as much as we used to feel earlier. Gujarat is considered that enterprising state where you have more entrepreneurs than people seeking a job. You are saying unemployment is a big issue here. I mean, I don't get it. Because nowadays, many of colleges and institutes having charging very high fees. So everyone can't, can't afford that fees. So, and the colleges also promises that they will give high packages placement and it's not happening. The company will sit the company will select the candidate and the candidate will throw out from a job from the from uh, in only the six months. So this is a big issue. Okay. What about you? Uh, the unemployment uh, is there because uh, in nowadays the engineers and the technical fields uh, people are uh, increasing day by day. But the jobs for them is not uh, increasing uh, because it's the limited seats we, you will get and for that the competitions also increases. But due to the competition, the uh, people can't survive and the unemployment is not uh, depend on that particular person. It depends on their whole family mm. and the family also belongs to that. So the unemployment should be focused because the, the whole family and the uh, whole structure is uh, going according. See the whole uh, thing. The yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. Nowadays, the people who are belong to SC and ST, they are doing more their erections than as compared to generals because they will uh, the deserving candidate do, doesn't get the job as they get to the SC and ST. So this is the very big, big challenge issue for the. Okay. okay. Uh, you see, one of the things that was uh, spoken about in Gujarat is that you become job uh, creators rather than job seekers, and that is why the entrepreneur spirit of Gujarat uh, would make all uh, the difference. But if within this Gujarat, there is this sentiment that uh, unemployment becomes a huge issue and, you know, there is CMIE data to back this claim that a lot of the youngsters are saying, then uh, do you feel that it adequately gets represented in the election? 
अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड सेफ्टी एज इशूज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट मोस्टली पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज टॉक अबाउट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बट इट इज नेवर फोकस्ड नो पॉलिटिकल पार्टी और नो गवर्नमेंट एवर लाइक वर्क फॉर द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अनएम्प्लॉयड पीपल एंड इंडिविजुअल स्पेंड्स ट्वेंटी ईयर्स टू अर्न अ डिग्री आफ्टर दैट ही हैज टू लाइक होल्ड रेज्यू में एंड रोम इन द मार्केट द लास्ट थिंग एंड इंडिविजुअल डज इज माइग्रेट फ्रॉम वन सिटी टू अदर माइग्रेशन इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट इशू माइग्रेट इन टू गुजरात और माइग्रेट आउटसाइड गुजरात माइग्रेट आउट ऑफ गुजरात टू अदर स्टेट्स आउट ऑफ इंडिया Oh, this is a very, very serious. So you are saying that a lot of this in this education hub, you are saying that there are a lot of people who basically want to attain education so that they are fit enough to migrate outside Gujarat, even outside the country. That's absolutely correct because the people who are having skills, they are not getting the job uh, as per their requirement. Secondly, the reservation is one of the biggest issue that is rising nowadays. the person who has somewhat 70 80 or 90% just because he or she does not have reserve uh, reservation or they are they fall into the general category they never get employment but the people who are scoring 45 50% but with some sort of reservation they are getting the job so what the general category is not going to do okay, here is the thing you have raised a lot of issues so have these gentlemen and the ladies but do you feel that these issues get converted into political issues thus influencing votes or is that already pre decided in gujarat for the past 27 years the thing is very simple when it comes to the voting while voting 90% of the people forgets what the issue is they simply vote for their uh, favorite leader their favorite political party they forget each and everything that whether unemployment is there inflation is increasing recession is there they just give up on everything and they say okay i like this person i'll be voting for this person but why you are voting no one thinks about it so simply it disappeared so, from so, the so voting is an irrational decision according to you i it is okay okay what about you your good name my name is sagar okay you are from uh, varodara from uh, ms university as a student of sociology and uh, uh, is this the first time that you are going to vote or yeah. have you voted earlier no no I, this is my first time to vote okay what are your issues young man i think uh, the one of the biggest issue is unemployment in huh. india the rising Uh, as a sir said that uh, like the uh, obc and like casteism is one of the biggest issue you want to equal everyone that uh, like uh, the people who are more talented didn't get job and the smaller one who are coming on st or sc get job so like the people you know a lot of a, a lot of people over here youngsters are uh, kind of commenting on the merits or demerits of reservation uh the risk that one runs uh when you are dealing with a subject like reservation is to not have a counter view so uh i wish i had someone who could give the other side of the story also but ma'am thank you so much for joining us your name anmol patel uh and what according to you is again as i am telling everyone i am not interested in knowing who you are going to vote for i am more interested in knowing what your issues are what what comes to your mind when you will when you will vote okay so first of all uh, nowadays there there is more in uh, general and st and sc types in our college also the scholarship of uh, scholarship is first uh, first for st and sc people uh, and for general people they are uh, taking afterwards but there is no there is uh, today to on in today's day general uh, st and sc people are high in level in high so uh, i think so that uh, but you do but you do know that in a social order uh, they were really left out and that's why the need was required for a reservation to exist to bridge this divide or bridge this gap i know that uh, uh, in uh, in nowadays it is going uh, it is going stsc very high level and in general they are going low Okay. Okay. okay so this is an important point being raised reservation again and again but as i said uh, the debate will not be complete unless i get a counter view on on someone representing the point as to why uh, this is happening and why 
uh, it must continue in this form or if there is a change that is required how should it go about like, you wanted to come like you are saying that uh, gujarat is providing the entrepreneur but uh, but nowadays more and more people are eagerly towards move to the foreign countries why because in uh, in uh, in here the uh, person who are more able, the able and they have no, more so you're saying the, the the migration outside of gujarat outside of this country yeah. huh. Yes, because nowadays the people who have skills, who have knowledge and who want to secure their future, they are moving towards the other countries because the other countries providing them the benefits which are not getting here. But wasn't this always the case? This or is, is this a recent phenomenon according to This you? is the recent, as you take five to six years, is the most recent case, case because more and more people are focusing to uh, going to a doubt. In our college, there are uh, 36 students, but uh, from, uh, from 36, 28 are moving outwards because they, they are saying that there is no income and source of income is not more in, in Gujarat. Okay. The, uh, one of the major reason is uh, they will not get the enough pay for that work. Like the engineers are not getting the 20,000 or 30,000 jobs in uh, the Gujarat state. And if you will migrate from other state like in uh, Maharashtra or as well as in Tamil Nadu, there are the automotive industries are there. Mm. So you will get the uh, lot of many pays. And Despite the fact that Gujarat is uh, quite an industrial state. Yes, but uh, the here uh, engineers are available in the lot, lots of quantity. So they will uh, get uh, the jobs like for the six months and they leave the job. So the other person gets the jobs and because of that, uh, the uh, uh, particular skilled persons are not getting in the industry. So they are not getting according to the uh, okay. pay on, on that. Okay. Uh, what about your views? So my point of view is uh, corruption. I want to say about corruption that uh, if, uh, if we see, we can find a corruption is everywhere. there. For example, if you want to take an admission in a school or a college, you have to pay off a very big high amount of uh, fees. And in India, if you find we are we are having very very talented persons by people, but they don't get a chance to show their talent because so of. You are saying corruption in remains yeah. a big issue. Yeah, in India. No, in India, but in yeah. in Gujarat specifically. Yeah, Gujarat also there are very much big issue for Gujarat also, sir. Corruption is. In which sector? Every sector, sir. You can find it. If you want to apply for government, uh, government paper or any work, uh, you have to you have to pay a very big amount of money. You see, uh, corruption has been made into this big issue by uh, the latest uh, political entrant, the Aam Admi Party, uh, and even the Congress. Uh, they say paper shoot jata hai, which means paper leak happens. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, uh, the papers are available for uh, uh, against a, against a fee, which is which is corruption. Do you think that this resonates enough with the youngsters uh, to be able to exact some sort of change on the day of the voting, or will voting remain the way it is? Uh, I think the voting would be remain as it is because uh, Why I said is that so I yeah. mean here is a situation where you are highlighting 10,000 problems yes. and each of them is adding to this rider that voting will remain the same. Yes, because the thing is like as uh, my colleague has said that uh, voting is ir irrational. So I think I should agree with that point because problems are there but no one dare to come from front and uh, speak to the political leaders about Why? the problems. Because uh, they thought they had a fear because uh, have you seen in Delhi, the person who came, the bulldozer uh, like goes and... Oh, so pe people here fear the bulldozer yes, action. They might be. I think this might be a case because uh, they are because of this fear, they are not coming front to speak and all. And uh, as my colleague has said, the corruption, I had seen many cases that uh, government has decided and implemented many policies for the welfare of the people, but uh, many people are taking misuse of that. Hmm. Actual, the person who is eligible for the policies, they are not getting the benefited, and uh, the person who is, no, is who is self-sufficient and funded also, they are taking misuse of those policies, okay. government policies. Okay. Uh, you were telling me about uh, you coming from a rural background, and uh, what issues are critical for you. So, what are you saying? Hindi. ऐसा देखे जाए तो जो काम जिस सिटी में हो रहा है वो गवर्नमेंट है वो गांव में करती नहीं है पहला तो हो रहा है अपन जिस तरह होना चाहिए वो होता नहीं है और जो किसान को मिलना चाहिए गांव में किसान में कई बार जाता हूँ देखता हूँ गांव में किसान को मिलना चाहिए वो इतना मिलता नहीं है वो सिटी में आए वो वो मिलता नहीं है तो उसके कारण बेरोजगारी बहुत हो जाती है 
एक एक आम धारणा ये होती है दिस जनरल परसेप्शन दैट बीजेपी इज़ अ सिटीज स्पेसिफिक पार्टी और गांव देहात में कांग्रेस पार्टी ज़्यादा बेहतर करती है ये नोशन को आप किस तरीके से देखते हैं ऐसे कुछ कहा ना जा सकता पर हाँ। ऐसे जो पार्टी है सभी गाँव में अलग अलग पार्टी होती है ऐसा नहीं फिक्स सभी गाँव में कांग्रेस हो सकता है बीजेपी हाँ। ऐसा नहीं है पर काम होना जो होना चाहिए वो होता नहीं है बीच हाँ। में वो करप्शन हो जाता है हाँ। जी, आप क्या कहेंगे गा, गाँव में जब हम जाते हैं तो वहाँ हम देखते हैं लेकिन वहाँ उतनी प्रगति होती नहीं है जितनी सिटी में होती है गाँव में हम देखते हैं ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम वाटर वाटर सप्लाई वो कम्प्लीटली होता नहीं है जैसे सिटी में हम सिटी में भी होता है कम्प्लीटली नहीं होता देर इज़ अ वेरी क्लियर अर्बन रूरल डिवाइड इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन हाँ गांव में हम देखते हैं लेकिन उन किसानों को उनके उनका जो जितना मिलना चाहिए वर्तर उतना नहीं मिलता नहीं है और जो ग्रांट आती है गांव के लोगों के लिए वो उन तक पूरी पौधनी चाहिए लेकिन वो पौधती नहीं है उनके तक वॉट वुड यू हैव टू से अबाउट दिस दिस अर्बन रूरल डिवाइड इट इज़ इन डीड ट्रू दैट द डिविजन बिटवीन और द गैप बिटवीन द अर्बन एंड रूरल इज टू बिग बिकॉज in rurals as he said that the farmers are not getting the enough amount of the crop they are growing secondly the farmers it is the responsibility of government uh, to provide uh, to buy the crops on msp and everything but at the end farmers have to move to the cities with their crops and grains and everything to sell to the people directly which might affect their livelihood because they they, they won't be getting the rate as decided by the government so again the farmers issues is also there but when we focus on the cities we avoid these things and that is what i previously said that while voting the these all things these all issues disappear from the mind of the voter and they simply vote for their own leader okay now for some real politic uh, let me ask you some questions on this latest entrant the aam aadmi party do you feel that in vadodara uh, aam aadmi party is a factor uh, aam aadmi party uh, came into existence in a few years before and they uh, like uh, they shine when they uh, won the election in delhi as well as in punjab but when it comes to gujarat they are here just to break or they uh, they are here just to Uh, spoil the vote bank of the major political parties that is BJP and Congress. Both, yeah. or just one? Both. Okay. As recently, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal said that Congress won't be winning, but he did not say anything about the BJP whether BJP is winning or not. He even did not uh, mention that whether the Aam Aadmi Party is forming the government or not. So Aam Aadmi Party is there in the election, but I feel it is just a showcasing thing, nothing else. Uh, do you think politically? Uh, these political parties are trying to cancel one another for instance the bjp does not consider aam aadmi party as a force aam aadmi party seems to be saying don't vote for congress because they will not win so each of these parties is trying to cancel one another these parties are trying to cancel uh, one another it's a fact but the major thing is none of the political parties talking about the development or what kind of benefits they are going to give to the people of gujarat after uh, forming the government they are not talking about anything they are just like okay this person is not doing this this political party is not worth enough so they just want to cut each other but they are not talking about the people and the benefits the people will get after they form the government okay last 2 minutes and i'm going to again come back and circle back to that main and crucial point what will be the issues when the youngsters will go to vote particularly the women so let me come back to you again what according to you will remain that big thing in your mind when you go and vote on the day you go uh, sorry sir voting ke din sabse bada issue aapke man mein kya hoga jisko soch kar ke aap vote dalen mujhe wahi issue hai jo uh, government job government job uh, general ko 15 rupees uh, 50 ya 5000 500 rupees bharne hote hain form ke baaki st sc logo ko hote hain free of cost फिर भी हमें जॉब नहीं मिलती गवर्नमेंट जॉब ज़्यादातर तो ये क्यों नहीं मिलती वो उस पर ज़्यादा ध्यान देना चाहिए व्हाट अबाउट यू मैं तो सिर्फ डेवलपिंग इंडिया जैसे देख रहे हैं फाइव इयर्स बैक और अभी का इंडिया बहुत ज़्यादा डेवलपिंग हो रहा है 
तो ये एक मुद्दा लेकर मैं मेरा वोट डालने चाहूँगी डेवलपिंग इंडिया एंड दैट इज जेन्यूनली डेवलपिंग इंडिया इज जेन्यूनली डेवलपिंग इन द पास फाइव ईयर्स दैट इज अ पोल इशू फॉर यस यस डेफिनेटली और एक चीज़ कहना चाहूँगी पहले हम इंडिया से बाहर जाते थे कोई कुछ भी वर्क करने या फिर कुछ करने तो उतना कुछ हमें वैल्यूज नहीं मिलती थी लेकिन जब से बीजेपी और जब से नरेंद्र मोदी जी का है इतना वर्चस्व तो हम कहीं भी आउट ऑफ इंडिया के बाहर भी जाते हैं तो हमारा लाइक इट्स दे आर इंडियंस मतलब वो जो एटीट्यूड है वो जो है और हमारा जैसे इंडिया डेवलप हो रहा है वो चीज़ वो मेन प्रस्पेक्टिव लेकर मैं ये बार वोट डालने जाऊँगी चलिए Thank you so much. It is absolutely enriching to hear uh, the views of women voters, young voters, first-time voters, those with a little bit of experience and what issues that they have. Just puts everything in perspective. So thank you so much for educating me on what issues really matter in an election. Thank you very much. With that, it's a wrap in this special broadcast. But news continues on NDTV 24/7.